Alright. Hi guys, what's up? It's Mel. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. Then if you've never seen my face before, hi, I'm Mel, Melissa, whichever you like. I'm autistic and I make some autistic content sometimes. And today I'm going to be talking about something I asked you guys on TikTok about a little while ago, like a couple weeks ago, I think. Um, I asked you guys what you think of when you hear the words autism slash autistic. A lot of you guys said somebody on the spectrum, somebody who stims, you know, different answers like that, which are great. One of you said, let me actually find it really fast. So one of you said the color is blue and orange. I can understand that because autism speaks, um, does a lot of stuff with blue and orange. So this is the puzzle piece. As you can see, it is blue. Um, a lot of people though and companies use this puzzle piece right there to kind of like advocate for autism, which isn't the best thing to do, but I will get into that in another video. So I can understand why the person said blue. What I don't understand is orange. A lot of people are saying orange. I don't know why that color is. Probably for neurodiversity, whatever. I don't think orange has a bad connotation behind it yet. So, um, I am honestly blessed to be able to say that most of the people in my life don't have negative thoughts or ideas around autism. And that's mostly because of me and how open I am about being autistic. So, I'm very grateful for that. Um, but today, I kind of want to break the stigma of autism, if we can. And to do that, we have to... Oh, and if you hear my clanking, by the way, it's my rings. I'm not engaged, but I wanted to wear rings on these fingers today. So, to do that, we need to kind of break down not just the stigma of autism, but also the stereotypes of autism. So, a lot of stereotypes are like, you know, they walk funny, nonverbal, make weird noises, different things like that. Um... And those are just stereotypes of autism. They're not like, sure, some people can have those autistic traits, but not all autistics do. I have, I don't think I've ever been nonverbal in my entire life. I'm pretty sure that I can speak when I need to speak. Um, so I cannot relate to being nonverbal. That being said, I'm still autistic. So I feel like the stigma of autism needs to go even deeper to the stereotypes. To break the stigma, we need to also break the stereotypes. And to do that, we need to understand what the stereotypes are and why they're stereotypes. So, the definition of stereotype, let me actually read that. A wildly held but fixed and oversimplified image or idea of a particular type of person or thing. So, that is what a stereotype is. And basically, I do believe that a lot of people have a lot of stereotypes about autism stuck in their head because they are wildly viewed as, and wildly, but I'm, and by wildly, I mean like worldwidely viewed as what autism is. Like being nonverbal, walking weird or funny or something because you don't always have complete control over your body, something like that. And that's not true, you know? Um, well, that are autistic are nonverbal sometimes. Sometimes they do need headphones to cover up you know, the environment around them because it's so loud and so noisy. Sometimes they need, sometimes they need sunglasses because the light's bugging them, you know? Um, and those are just like being overstimulated by things. Like I have earplugs that I use at work sometimes when the like crowds are so busy um, and so loud because I can't think straight and I end, up giving, I end up getting overstimulated and then I end up just like burning out so fast and I cannot do that in my job. So I wear earplugs, loop earplugs actually, um, to ensure that I can, you know, cope with what's going on. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to get burnt out later because I probably might, but um, it ensures that for that moment it's not going to be that bad. I'm sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder just to like make sure everything looks, just to make sure I'm okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so there's that. I also feel like people who view autism also sometimes view it as less than like less than perfect less than good less than whatever and it's not less it's just different um chloe hayden actually she is an autistic australian youtuber slash tiktoker and she has an entire clothing line um created that says different not less and it actually has like you know clothes that don't have tags and are accessible for all people with dis for a lot of people with disabilities, you know? I don't know every single person with disabilities, so I don't know if it's completely accessible for every single person, but I do know it's, access it's accessible for a lot of people. Um, so that in itself is really, really good. 
So, and then also, if you guys would like to as well, follow Paige Lael because she actually talks a lot about autism and how the brain works and how, you know, your brain develops differently, different things like that. Um, she talks about that in her TikToks, or she used to, and she has a YouTube channel now that she talks about a lot of different things dealing with autism, which is great, and I watch that every single time she posts it because I always learn something new. Um, but going going through like all of that stuff and educating yourself is the best way to break the stereotypes and to break the stigma of autism. You know, like just meeting somebody with autism isn't going to do it. You have to educate yourself on it too. Uh, that's because just meeting somebody, they might not know everything about their disability either. I don't know everything about my disabilities, but I am learning a lot of things every day and I'm trying to advocate for my community and myself as much as I can, mostly myself, because I don't know everybody's needs, so I can't really completely advocate for them. But I'm trying to be an advocate for autism and autistic people as much as I can be, um, as much as is okay for me to be, because I want to just try to educate people as much as I can about it. Everything that I'm learning, I'm trying to share to you guys. Um, which is why I wanted to make this video, because I just don't like the stigma that's around autism right now. There's not a heavy stigma in my community around it, thankfully. But I know that in, around the world, there is one. And there can be, you know? I used to have them, like, stigmas of autism, and I am sad to say that, but I don't anymore. And I want to spread that awareness to you guys. So, with all of that being said, if you guys have any questions about stigmas of autism or stereotypes of autism, leave them in the comments down below and I can try to have a conversation with you and answer as many as I can. Um, any questions that you have, anything. I'm not going to know all the answers to all of your questions yet because I'm still learning myself, but if I know a good creator that probably could answer it better, I can try to link some videos down there, like in the comments or something to help out. Um, if that's even possible, I don't know, but I can try. I'm gonna try to help you guys understand that autism is not bad, it's just different. It's not less at all. So, yeah. Um, and I think I've already made a video about the puzzle piece and why I don't like that, but if you like the puzzle piece and you identify with it, great. I'm not gonna take that away from you. I'm just gonna explain why I don't like it. So, um, yeah. I don't like the puzzle piece because a lot of, because Autism Speaks uses it for one, which I need to make a video about Autism Speaks, honestly, if I haven't already. And then two, because a lot of people think, oh, I've found the missing piece to myself. But for me, I think you're already whole. You know, if you're autistic, you're already a whole person. Getting your diagnosis just explains certain pieces to your puzzle. And why, you know, why you act the way you act, why you do what you do, because your brain is a little bit different from other people. And that's completely fine. It's not bad. It's not wrong. It's just fine. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that pretty much sums up what I wanted to say. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing because I really want to reach 100 subscribers so that I can get a custom YouTube URL and also keep growing my channel and share more information with you guys the more I learn and the more I grow. And yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!